Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? Bird, good here, bird, good here. So we're gonna do our first project on the new bench. It's gonna be all dirty, unless I put some towels down, but no, it's gonna be all dirty. So anyways, we brought our clutch assembly up here from the John Deere AR to kind of show you guys a little bit about that and uh, what I found with it. Nothing major wrong, you know, a couple things here and there and mostly dirty, so. I uh, brought my grease up to repack the bearings, the bearing in here. There's a bushing in that thing too, I'll show you that too. But uh, now that thing I just painted today, I just primed them because they're going to get all covered in grease and stuff just to keep a bit of the dirty rust down. Anyways, there's uh, another one, that's the inner kind of thing that holds the bearing. So. That basically fits there like that in that housing. And uh, this one goes that way inside that uh, that housing. So, and then these all get kind of tapped in real nice. I don't have a socket the right size to tap these in the right thing. So I'm gonna have to be uh, real careful and careful with it. We'll be fine. So got some gloves here to repack the bearing with. Uh, what else do we got? I brought my grease up and I frickin' dropped it this morning when I was had it on my counter and it slipped off the counter and it frickin' split the bottom of the bucket open. Ah, this stuff is probably just about due for a replacement anyways. There's still a fair bit in there, but it's getting kind of old. And, and you know, I don't really use it too often, so. Um, now, you remember the uh the actuator thing here i got this other one that i'm going to put back in because it's not quite as wore out we'll have a look at these although i see this one's not tremendously great either but uh looked better than that before for some weird reason but anyways uh that's the uh the lever clutch lever attaches to a rod that connects to this guy here so let's just put that there there's the other one this is the one that came out of the tractor. You stay there, you heavy beast. <laughs> Look at those after, too. This one's... Wow, it's dirty. Oof. Oof. Now, this one, I, I cleaned it all up real nice, right? We sprayed it, but... Wow, is that ever... Mucky. This poor tractor, I think, went a long, long time between oil changes. Now this is into the uh, gear oil in the back, and it's really bad, like, oh god. But uh, anyways, <laughs> and uh, there is the big mother of clutch and belt, belt pulley. This thing's massive. Let's get her to get you on a tripod here. I'll we'll throw this thing up on the bench. We'll have a look at her. Okay, this thing itself probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of oh, at least 80, 90 pounds anyways. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it is one heavy beast. So I got um, a dirty again. I had it all clean and now it's a little bit dirty again. But uh, what side shall we start with? Well, uh, maybe start with this side here. Just roll off. That would suck. Um, okay, let's get down off the layer. This thing is really, really heavy. So this is the part that's inside the tractor and this actually hooks into one of the big gears that's like way back in here on the rear end of the tractor. <coughs> and uh, these things, either one of them, they, uh, they actually go in through the housing right into here and this fork, we'll call this a fork, and actually this one is, uh, wow. This one is quite a bit more wore out. If you look at the thickness of this area, it's kind of hard to see, but then look at the thickness of this area. Quite a, quite a bit more. That's wore in, wore into here quite a bit on this back side. So this one actually has a bit of a beef to it, and this one's actually wore into it. So that'll definitely, definitely, definitely change where it engages and stuff now. So this one was starting to get pretty bad. And now if you were good with some, some brass or bronze or something, you could probably re-weld that and get it, get it working again. But anyways, that thing fits in here. 
so I'm going to use my fingers as a so you know that would change everything through here it pulls on these little these little these little guys here you can see where they're attached to so when I when I change this that goes down and pulls pulls those things up that's down and that's up so that would engage the big clutch plate over here with the two discs in here and then the big drive I didn't bring that up but there's a big drive guy in here too and then they would sandwich all together and then this whole thing would start spinning right and away you go so it's a pretty cool system it does work really well uh, let's flip her up on this end here Ugh. so these little dogs I think they call these dogs it's not very good light in here but they uh, I've got one uh, where is it now hang on let me get my uh, I got one that's broken so if you can see these little ears that come under these bolts here and adjust that clutch plate on the front I've got one one here that's broken it's missing its ear there so I don't know whether I should order one and stick one in these things are $30 a piece and they basically uh, kind of latch into the little pushing dog guys down to there which attaches it to this pulling thing here right so it's been all right you know I guess so far it's been all right though as it's been so far so I'm probably not gonna probably not gonna order one you know because like I say it said in my other video there I'm like if I'm taking this out in the field like for you know eight ten hours a day yeah okay I'd probably be ordering one but this is gonna be like you know start it up put it on the trailer take it to the show start it up park it you know but uh, yeah so but uh, this thing when it spins now normally okay let's not have this roll off of here normally the engines here all right and there's a great big shaft from the crankshaft that goes through and the two big cylinders up here they're banging away bang 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 well this thing is constantly spinning in here right so this bearing when when you don't have it engaged and this is stopped that big um, crankshaft is spinning in this bearing and in this big bronze bushing in here too so you really got to make sure you get some lube in there now there will be lube in there because this is like right in you know the big gear and then the oil and stuff will get splashed in there so but you don't want to put it in dry right because it's, you know that shaft is pretty long it's probably almost a foot long but uh, when this thing is engaged this thing I think spirals oil kind of up into here and uh, if you look here there's a hole you know there's holes and then let's flip her up on the end here again and there's holes here too so this all gets kind of lubed and then drains back through so those uh, those holes were pretty bunged up too down there's kind of hard to show you that but I got a, a drill bit down through there and just big enough and clean up all the goop and then sprayed some stuff down there and cleaned it all up uh, this was all covered in junk in here now it's not supposed to be covered in junk in here this side is supposed to stay dry your clutch disc side is supposed to stay dry and uh, I think I know why it was wet here the fellow that owned this before uh, he passed away of course when I bought it I bought it from the fellow's uh, wife and she said oh he had it in lots of parades and stuff and blah 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 I'm like oh that's interesting okay now I think I know why this was wet over here because these kind of clutches they're so jumpy like you just as soon as you start it just kind of grabs and goes right there's no kind of nice happy medium um, I, I think he'd been in this side and sprayed some oily stuff in here to slow that down a little bit still drove but not pull like a mule like it should <laughs> <laughs> all right so so I think that's probably what he had done and uh, I got it all cleaned out should be all good now because this yeah this shouldn't be wet at all over here so when we uh, when we get this bearing in here and this guy has to go back in this is gonna be the tricky one to get that guy in the right way 
because I don't have a big enough socket. I might find something here to help start it, but I'm going to have to basically just tap it a little bit at a time to get it down there because I just don't have I don't have the uh, a right size socket for that. I've got big ones down there, but they're just not big enough. So what am I going to use for that? But anyways, we've got to put that guy in first, and that is a cupped washer. I don't know if you can see that. She's got a bit of a cup to it. Let me see it better that way. But that's got to go this way. And then the barrel, barreling will grease, re-grease that. That goes on top of that guy. I could actually maybe use that to start it, but I don't want to tap on anything too hard here. And these all came out real nice. They didn't uh, fight me too hard. You know, I didn't mash them all up trying to get them out. So this shouldn't be too hard going back in either. But I'll get some kind of fluid film or something. Uh, and stuff maybe on there just to help put that a little bit in there and and then this guy would go in on the end there and we'll just kind of lightly tap it maybe with a little chisel or something like that or maybe a screwdriver just to get her going in and you just keep tapping that until the bearing doesn't kind of move we'll show you that when we get to it anyways okay so first I better get um, better get this guy in I guess first so let's get this up on a tripod here, and uh, we'll get putting this together. I don't know what happened here, if it's just a bad casting. It's got like some chip marks out of it or something, but it shouldn't affect anything there. It's all this surface here you want perfect, right? So, and I just basically gave it a light sand, really, really, really light sanding, and uh, just kind of clean it up, and it should be good. So let's get you on a TP. Here we go. Alright, I probably really should have a flat thing for this, but uh, something to really drive that in nice. And I don't have anything that large here. I was thinking even a piece of pipe. I just, oh, you know what? Hang on a sec. Oh. <laughs> that might actually work. A little bit bigger than I need, but that's actually a piece of pipe that I brought up here to try on the exhaust pipe on that uh, tractor, but I might have to get up on a ladder to use it. That's like another long way up yet there. Well, if I can just tap it here, maybe. It's going. It's up so high, I gotta have to get on a ladder. So you guys hold that pipe for me. I got a ladder here. Believe it or not, I actually got a ladder here. Huh. Pretty crazy they're gonna get up on the ladder to drive this thing in, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, there she just fell right in. Sweet. Alright, ladder worked good. Just uh, give that a little wipey there. And I just be sure we're right in there. right away. Oh yeah. They're golden. Okay. Now we need the barreling. And that barreling will grease it up here first, but it actually just fits right in. That's got me a little concerned. Although once I tighten in this this guy here it should 
That's the way this is designed, I think, is to uh, this edge will push right on the race and then keep that tight from moving as long as that's in there tight. Bearing wasn't that easy to come out, but anyways. Okay, we gotta get greasy. Okay, so repacking the bearing, lots of fun. Yes, they do have those things where you can put it in this thingy and then use like a grease gun, but that's no fun. Nothing like greasing a bearing by yourself in your own two hands. And you know it's really good too. And this one's probably going to take a fair bit. I'm going to show you what method I use to, to do this. Once I get these gloves on. Something on this glove is probably grease. Okay, so we'll get a nice clean towel. Greenish towel. Down there, you guys can see all right? Yep, you're good, okay. And that's our subject right there. Make sure he's all good. I've cleaned it and uh, put it in the parts washer or fluid overnight and then clean that out and then I've put it uh, in uh, the ultrasonic cleaner too and then dried it out and I just put a little bit of fluid film on there just so I could feel it rolling. It feels good, so. All right, get your broken grease bucket going here. Even the lid's broken, oh my goodness. And this is just like an all multi-purpose grease and wheel bearings. Pretty much all we got here, and it's it is getting kind of dried out. If you know what I mean? Like grease does get kind of weird after a bit. So if you're right-handed, hold the bearing in your right hand, put the grease in your left. If you're left-handed, you know, vice versa, right? So what I'm gonna do is put a pile of grease in my hand, the air in my glove. And uh, just grab a little bit out of the pile and just keep going like this with it kind of thing. And that'll, you know, eventually you'll see the grease out the top. Give it some rolling around, give it some more. So uh, now you're thinking, well, how do you, well, you could get a, something to get some grease out. That's not going to really work. Uh, what else have I got here? Oh! Exactly the cleanest tool in the drawer, but it'll work. So put that in your hand, kind of like that. Should have gone up a little higher with it. My mistake. There. Probably gonna need more than that. Good stuff. All right. So. This will force grease into all these little holes right here. All these little holes and stuff in there. So it does take a minute though, but just grab a little bit and you just want it to kind of, you don't want it to go on the, the inside a whole lot, but just grab a little bit. And that'll kind of force it in. And I'm gonna get real close here for you. And then you'll see the grease poop out the top here. Get that extra, a little bit extra doesn't hurt. It's very sticky stuff. I need it all like on the inside, but it'll come out eventually. But so you can see it kind of coming out the top of the roller there, right? Where are you? There you are. So we want to kind of just move around, try to get that extra off. Good stringy stuff, this stuff. And basically keep her moving around. 
Yeah. Gloves. <laughs> Throw your gloves out after. And this is actually a removable. Should show me that too. There's a clip on there that you can remove. Which I thought was kind of cool, but I didn't want to mess with that in case I broke it. Because then I'd be really up the creek. <laughs> right? So I'll keep squishing her in, squishing her in. But this bearing does get grease coming, like, um, uh, gear oil coming up in here, but this just kind of helps it a little bit too, right? Because I would technically be running dry for quite a while until I got some of that fluid up in there, so you want to help it out if you can. a lot of work for a big bearing like this. Normally you'd be done by now. Anyways. Get out, you extra grease. And that bushing that's in here, I probably won't do anything with it until I go to put it back together. There's no point in greasing that now because it'll just get dirt all over it and stuff, but this hopefully will be all right. There was a pile of rust in this though, which I was kind of, kind of, kind of concerned about a bit when I was uh, cleaning. I see a little bit still coming out here, but man, it's a almost 70 year old tractor, I guess now. Yeah. Nineteen twenty-six. It'll be or eighteen. Oh my goodness. Twenty twenty-six. It'll be seventy. Okay, I think I need a bit more grease. Just like peanut butter. All right, where'd I quit there? Not there. Yeah, now she's squirting out good there. That's what you want. Squish her out the other side. And even if you leave a little bit on the outer race, it's probably going to spin a little bit in there. It might not spin a whole lot, but it's probably not even a bad idea to just leave a little bit on in on there. Greasy. You probably could flip it and go the other way with it too, but I'm not going to bother with that. Like I say, if I was going to be you know, in the field of, with it for eight, ten hours a day, I probably would go a little more crazy with it, but for all it's going to be doing, start it up, put it on the track trailer, start it up, take it off the trailer, park it at the show. I guess really we're done for this year, but our, ne our next show would be the, uh, the TSC next year. In the springtime. All right, that should be good and greased up. Oh yeah, she is grease balled. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. She'll uh, she'll roll around there, so I'll just put that there. And uh, leave maybe one glove on. If I can get the one off without getting too grinded up. There. Okay, there we go. Mostly good. All right, let's clean up this stuff. Get another bucket for that, I guess. Put this stuff all the way here. Oh, this guy over. Ugh. 
All right, let's get you up a little higher. Okay, burling can go in. Gonna give all this a little bit of extra stuff, leftover stuff. And it shouldn't matter which way that goes. Oh sure, now it doesn't want to fit in nice. There we go. Lovely. That's our retainer guy there. Now I can probably take this glove off. Oh yeah, not even dirty. Nice. Um, okay. Well, they should have a chisel. This one was a little bit stickier to come out. out here now so what I'm gonna check now is for actually we're not too bad there just checking the gap between the bearing and this cover we just smashed in there I think that's actually good I don't think she's gonna go any more than that so let's give another little feel here home. We've got her back in. Sweet. All right. Well, so this now will go back into the tractor. I got to lift it up and then into the thing right on the shaft. And then in on the shaft, there's of course a, a bolt that goes on the end that holds all everything together from falling off. So and then we put that actuator guy through, and uh, customer should be golden. So, that actuator, just put a, a brake on this guy here. That actuator would come in this way. And I'll grab a cleaner one here. Let's take the gasket off for now so we don't hurt it. this way up. So this guy goes right in here. Right about there actually. It's pretty well. There, oh no, there we go. That's it. Sorry I wasn't quite in enough. So when you uh, pull your clutch, this is going to have to be all adjusted and stuff. That uh, would sit like this. from that I might have to bush this thing here take all this apart again <laughs> I don't like taking it all apart again but uh, yeah so that's that's about right there but you can see where that guy goes in there right so that's why it's got to get a bit of that loop spiraled up onto this to keep that from kind of wearing out like that one did so very important to keep your level level up too on that uh, gear loop right so that's about right there and then that would be uh, deactivated there, and then four would be activated. It seemed like it moves a whole lot there. But this, of course, gets bolted onto the housing up front here. So, but I got a lot of that to figure out yet. That's a nice fit in there. That's really good, actually. It's a perfect fit compared to and get her back around here. is the stock one here, the old one. I 
you know, the back side of this is really war. Oh yeah, there's a pile of play there. Wow, I should try to get you in a bit closer to, to look at that there. Hold on a sec. Okay, let's see if we can look at this play here. See, this guy here is really, that's probably wore this thing out too, actually. I think of it. Let's throw the other one on there and show you the difference. Hang on, I gotta get myself all degreased now because that one's so grimed up. This one's actually like brand new, I think, almost. Fits right in there. Come on now. So there's like no play there now. <laughs> so I'll probably give this a lubing up too with some kind of oil when I go to put her back together. And uh, yeah, that's amazing how much that was wore out. Wow. And that's probably a part pretty much not fine new now. I got that other piece used off of some guy in the States. And uh, she should work pretty good. All right, so yeah, this is that bushing in here too. There's a big bronze bushing about this long. That part of the shaft spins in there too, right? So I got a, it's actually pretty good. Got one gouge right there, but I'll just hold a little more oil there, right? <laughs> it's not that bad, so. It's probably wore out a little bit but hard to find that part too. So you'd have to almost know somebody with a lathe that could spin you off something. But um, yeah, those dogs, so I think I'm just gonna leave it all, all the way it is for now and then uh, we'll have to go put her together and see if we can get her to drive again. But uh, that bit of play there, that should take up quite a bit of the play in the lever and stuff too. Although there's a couple of spots there I wanna look at as well. But. So yeah, well, awesome. Well, I guess that's about it for today. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bucket of grease now. I have to put it in a pail or another pail or something. Because it's going to be leaking all over. Maybe I'll just put it over here for now. And, uh, yeah, that should be all good. And I'll slap that back on there. And uh, hopefully she's all good to go. So that's probably it for today. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. Give you one more shot of the difference in the two wear of these uh, these two guys here. Look at this one. This is the old one. See, there's quite a ridge worn out there, right? And then look up here in the top of this one. You can see. Uh, come on, baby. Not quite so bad up there, but it has. Oh, come on. Don't want to focus on that. There you go. Okay. So then look at the one over here. Where are you? So that one's got like very little wear to it. The other one's like wore in at the top there quite a piece. And same with the bottom here. Look at the bottom here. It's like nice and square and brand new compared to that one that's like wore into it. Eh? So that should make a difference in the, uh, in the shifting too. But uh, I'm kind of surprised that both of these are kind of Kind of floppy floppy. I thought this one was a lot better than, than it is, but um, it's not a major big deal, but it'd be nice to have it tight the way it should be, but I can see this one's wore a little bit off the back side here, a little bit more, but it's not too bad. You're supposed to have a shoe on there, right? And I do have a new shoe for it, so I don't know yet whether I've got them in the same spot though. I think I might have reassembled this one back the wrong way. I might have to take it apart and then, because these are on like a spline down in here. So I might have to adjust that. And this thing was kind of a, kind of a nuisance <laughs> to put back together and take apart. But um, I mean, you can do it, but there's a lock ring up here you have to take off. But uh, if I have to, I have to, I guess. But uh, I don't know, I might see. It's not too bad to get apart once everything, all this is all back on and stuff. It's, you know, it's just four bolts and take it out and readjust that. Because that'll adjust probably where the... I can adjust it on the rod though. 
there's that U-bolt thing that goes to the rod that goes to the shifter arm that I can adjust and tighten it in a bit more, but I might just move it one spline over and uh, should be all good. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that bit of wear on that. And uh, probably from lack of lube in there and not changing the fluid, because as you can see, this is pretty, pretty black stuff in there. Pretty gross. I probably should do that thing, uh, drain the fluid out again. The uh, gear oil and then put some diesel in it, run it around for a bit and then drain that out and probably have to do that about 10 times. <laughs> and then it might come a bit cleaner, but I think one at least would be really good. But I know there's a bit of a sludge layer in the bottom of this thing. It needs to all really come apart in the, in the bottom of the case of this thing. But anyways, that's a big job. So I'll catch you all later. Thanks again for watching and you guys have a good day. Okay, another quick update. I moved this over one spline. The little splines in the shaft here. Just over one, and I think that's sitting a little better to where the old one was, so. Yeah, sweet. Okay, that's it. Gotta go. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later, and uh, you guys have a good day.